Hi everybody. So, um, yes, I am an addict for shopping. <laughs> Anyways, I've got another order from this website. This is a Russian website. I've already showed you an order from that website before. But I've decided to make another order and I got a few things that one of them I'm going to start right away because I'm crazy like that. And um, this I want to show you. Actually, this order got to me during one week. It was really surprising because we get orders, uh, packages, minimum two weeks and it can take a month because it goes through a lot of stages but this one kind of got through and they shipped it on the 24th and i got it today today i all already went and picked it up so it was in my city for two days before i got the message but it came very very fast and it was so so fun to get it i always love getting new packages it feels like you're getting a present it's so exciting uh so every order you get this pack this bag and i don't know what i'm going to use this for i already have three of those but it's really nice i i don't know i can put something in there also i get this is my third one this is pana it's like a greeting card but it has a, a chart in here it's like a cute little tree with birds and stuff so it looks really really cute i'm not going to do anything with this i think i'm going to collect them because uh, this is my third one and every time they put something else uh, though I have these birds in a birdhouse my first order they came in a birdhouse but I don't know I don't know what to do with them I think they're cute and I think it's nice to have in my stash <laughs> if I ever want to stitch it or if somebody will but this is really really cute now with this you also get candy they always send me candy <laughs> like a little bag with um lollipops but we already ate those so i don't think i can show you but it's always fun to get presents and get something nice with your order but let's put this aside actually put my camera on a tripod finally this is a little tripod that I got from my phone, but um, hopefully it will do for now because I want to use both of my hands. Anyways, um, first of all, I ordered Riolis. Again, my favorite, favorite company. I really, really like it. Um, and this is actually a set. This is a triptych and it's supposed to be three uh, different kits that go together but I got only two of them I'll show you the first one and this is the first one this is Sakura this is Sakura bridge and it's so 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 beautiful the colors are really really soft it's pastels and it's not I don't think it's a difficult stitch because there's not a lot stitch it's actually not a full uh, coverage uh, project but I think it's really beautiful the way it blends out and this is a half stitch I think and I don't think it will be a lot of work but it's really really beautiful and also you have beads in here if you can see I don't know but in the tree there are beads everything in here is beading so um i think it's beautiful it's kind of a 3d effect so um i watched um youtube video about uh it was some kind of a show in russia and uh, every like there were a lot of different companies and uh cross stitch creators that showed their works and uh you could see the finished works hanging on their walls and it was beautiful and this is one of the pictures that were already stitched up so when i saw it i showed it to my husband because he's really into the whole chinese theme theme so he 
really liked it and it actually doesn't show the full effect of the color um, and the whole 3D effect in the picture but when I saw the video with the finished work I thought that it was really really beautiful really gentle and I wanted to try this there um, this is the one I told you about this is I'm going to show you in a minute so I'll go I'm going to cover it <laughs> And this is um, the one that I didn't get. I actually wanted to get this one first and then like get the other two if I will like the way it comes out. But no, I decided to get the smaller ones, see what I am coming up with. And if I will like the effect on the small ones, I will order this one. Or, or I just leave it like that. I think it will be a nice set of two. And... I, I don't know, I didn't decide yet. Um, anyways, the colors are amazing. There's not a lot of thread. I don't think you need a lot of thread, but there's a lot of blues, and I'm sure that down there are beading. You have, uh, I think, two needles in here. Yeah, you get uh, Zweigart Aida 14 count. You get Encore Threads 23 colors. You ha have uh, one type of beads and two needles. So one needle must be for the cross stitch and the other must be for the um, beading. So this is number one. And the other one is this one. Like you can see, this is a set. They actually have the same theme. They are amazing. This one is even more beautiful. This is Sakura, Bri uh, no, Pagoda. Sakura Pagoda, I don't know how you say that correctly, but this has even more trees. It's more colorful, I think. Both of them are beautiful, but this one has more beads and more uh, trees. Or maybe it looks like it because it's down here and this one is like all over the place. I don't know. But even my mom, when she saw this, she said this was, this one was better. Anyways, the size is 18 over 24 centimeters. They both have the same colors. The same colors, really. Yeah, the same colors. The same, um, it's basically the same picture, only a different background. Like, not background, but something red and blue in the background. So, this has a bridge and this has, like, this tower. But they are really, really beautiful. Really, really beautiful. I'm not going to stitch them for now. I'm going to keep them for a little later because I have other plans for now. But um, I am definitely going to get to them and do something with them. So, this is two of my first. Now, um, I already published a video from Jarptica. Uh, or Phoenix in English uh, and they make the plastic canvas and I have showed you my piggy my happy piggy bank so I really really liked stitching that it was two-sided and I've decided to order three more kits and this is number one this is actually Snigurchka it's like um, if you have Santa Claus and Santa Claus has a wife. Russians have um, Dead Maroz. And Dead Maroz has um, a granddaughter. So this is his granddaughter. Her name is Snigurichka. <laughs> She's beautiful. She's a blonde. She has a little uh, squirrel in her hand. And you have a lot of backstitch in here. It also has beads. You see? Everything in her dress stars are beating this is blue beating she's really really cute uh, her size is um, 13 over 8 centimeters it has 18 colors uh, regular thread and um, plastic canvas the same thing it's the same thing as my piggy bank only a little girl so it will be really really cute uh, in the back you don't see any of the threads because inside, this is actually a little booklet and inside of this book you have the stuff, I'll show you in one moment. 
but this is number one. Um, I'm not going to start with this one. I'll show you in a second. This is number one. Number two. Number two is a dream catcher. Like this. Beautiful, isn't it? It's really, really interesting because it's actually, it's not stitched as one piece. You stitch like the circle with the owl. You stitch the little stars and the feathers and then you connect them all together. And also you have beads. You have these special beads. Uh, let's see what you have in here. You have uh, Moulin, Moulinet cotton threads, 12 colors, plastic canvas, charred beads. Finished size is 10 over 18 centimeters. And uh, yeah, and this is how it looks like. The back is the same thing. It's the same booklet. It's just a big like um, card and inside you have all the stuff you need. But I think it's so, so special. I'm, I never tried to do something like that. And I will have to figure out how to do this. I'm sure that it has instructions inside. But it's really, really interesting. Really interesting. Um, this one is going to wait its turn too but I'm definitely going to get to this during this year because I'm going to go through these I think like <laughs> I don't know um, I'm really enjoying doing these they're really really cute and they come out really really uh, interesting so this is number two and the third one is actually something that I've already opened because this is something that I'm going to start and I I haven't looked inside yet but um, the back, uh, I just didn't want to, um, you know, make a lot of noise. But this is number three. This is actually um, Nutcracker. <laughs> this is a Nutcracker. So this is him. He's kind of big. He's 11 over 18 centimeters. This has got the same thing. Um, it's got plastic canvas, moline, cotton threads, 16 colors, uh, charred, and I don't, this doesn't have beads in it, but it has a lot of work because it's larger. Now, like I said, this is like a book. See, it opens, so you have instructions in the back, and then you just open it. You open it, and you have these two this is instructions I'm not going to use this but you have thread a lot of thread beautiful blue colors the picture doesn't show what you have inside really sorry my camera died so my battery died so I had to charge it but where was I I was telling you about the colors um, like I said what you see in the print of the final work you I don't think it shows the colors of the threads I really don't like the threads very much because it's it's not really I don't know something about this thread it's kind of hard on the touch but for types of um, projects like this one like smaller projects it's fine I mean you don't need special threads or anything but this is really, um, this, these are beautiful colors, really. I really like blues. So this is the threads. These are the threads. Anyways, um, you have the canvas. There you go. You see how large it is? I mean, the piggy was much smaller. It was the size of my hand. It was something like this. And this one is a lot bigger. It's kind of, it's huge. Um, this is actually... I think it's different than the piggy I actually don't remember but the piggy was um, white and this is clear I don't know how it's going to look on clear but it's also hard <laughs> it's plastic canvas so it's fun um, anyways you get two of those one for the front and one from for the back and we'll see what we come up with this is queen over here we have the charts the charts are huge let's see what we I'm not going to show you the, the whole chart, but these are the symbols. You have symbols 
and you have explanations down here uh, the only thing I don't really get this is number 12 and I don't see a number 12 in here I mean it's like something that without a symbol just a white square and I don't see a white square can you see it there's no white square in here something is wrong I'm, I'm really hoping that um, this is not a mistake sorry for my hand um, number 12 is this one um, it's just one one thread um, maybe it's a back stitch I don't know oh yes <laughs> I'm stupid okay so number 12 is used only in blends so it doesn't show it doesn't have a symbol it's a blend so you must use yes you use it in here let's see in English you have two threads cross you have one thread back stitch two thread back stitch you have blends of you have basically you have four kinds of blends for different blends so 12 does yeah it goes 10 and 12 10 and 12 are these two 10 and 12 so it's okay everything is in place I just got a little scared that um, something is wrong and this is a mistake so this is what we're going to come up with hopefully it will look fun and it will be fun to stitch we have a lot of thread I think more than enough because I have I have a lot of thread left from my piggy I have these this is a canvas and it already has my dog's hair in it so yeah what's new um anyways we're going to put this back i'm going to put this one this one going over no a little bit of a mess going over here and we're we're just going to put it back for now till i start working and then i can get rid of this so this is our next project i'm going to start this as soon as I can um, I always do this to myself because I really really want to finish my summer my round Rioli summer and I really really want to finish my heaven and earth but I always choose to do something in between so I did it with my piggy because I just started stitching her and I left everything else and till I finished her I maybe touched my summer maybe twice but uh, hopefully this will not postpone every other project that I have but I am definitely thinking that I'm going to start this today and I'll show you uh, make videos showing you my progress maybe short videos or maybe if maybe you can tell me if you would like to see this project in one video just like day by day growth or do you want to see like short videos with um, how it goes like once in a while um, just let me know if you would prefer me to keep this till I finish it and just show you a whole video with like um, going through days uh, like all together I would love to do that I think it's a great way to show these kinds of little projects without like going through videos for like five minutes each but you give, if you have an idea I would love to hear that um, so this is this is actually it I don't have anything else um, I, I'm not planning on ordering anything else soon because maybe next month <laughs> because um, I really have a lot already and I don't know if I need anything else really because I don't think I'm going to stitch everything <laughs> in one day so it's going to take me a while to go through these but it's always fun to have a lot of choices and to you know to choose if you want to do this one or this one or this one or this one and I don't know but 
again, when you get a lot, you always want to start everything and then you start feeling sad because you don't, you can't do this one or you can't do this one and you really want to finish the ones you have going and then you throw that and start something new and projects last forever. So hopefully I'll be strong enough not to try anything out of these. I'll just get my hands on the nutcracker and see what we have with this one. So girls, boys, everybody, um, have a nice week and hopefully we'll see you in my next video. Um, subscribe, give me thumbs up <laughs> and leave me some comments and I will see you next time. Bye!